I'm building the biggest meme on the Ton blockchain and here's why. Telegram is something which we all have. Everybody has a phone and if you're in crypto, everybody has Telegram. You have to use it to be inside all the communities and everything. Now on top of Telegram, there has been a revelation. There's been something new built over the past few years and this is something called the open network. Now, not many people know about this. And I'll even give you the data to show you that not many people know about this. And if you're watching this, you have an advantage. Now, what this is, is a blockchain built on top of Telegram. Now, many people use it. In fact, if you look at over here, you can use it. You can get a wallet on top of Telegram. You can actually get it inside of your messaging. In fact, if you go... If I, I'll go over to here, you type in wallet. You can even see inside of your Telegram, if you just go to at wallet over here, you'll see that you have a wallet inbuilt inside of your Telegram. And if you're outside, or sorry, inside of the USA, you'll be able to see that you can also just download an app called Tonkeeper, right? It's just like MetaMask, giving you the ability to transact inside of Telegram. And that's the reason why if we look at the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, you can see that number eight is the token for this blockchain as well, TonCoin. And over the long haul, this has been one of the best performing assets inside of the top 10. It's outperforming everything so far because large scale venture capitalists and investors know the power of having the ability to give anybody the access to build on top of their telegram. And it's not just cryptocurrency, right? You can build on top of things with apps. You can accept payments as well. You can even have your own domains inside of telegram. In fact, you can even turn your telegram username into an NFT. So the abilities right now are endless. The sky is the limit, but right now the user base on telegram is tiny. If you have a look here, you can see that the active wallets right now is 9 million. Yet, if we see what Telegram says, how many users does Telegram have? You can see that it says that there's 900 million users inside of Telegram. However, there's only 9 million wallets. That's 1%. Then if you see the daily active wallets, even though they're going parabolic right now, yesterday this was like... 300,000, now you can see there's 400,000 active wallets, which is still tiny. You're talking about this many people, wow, right? This many people actually using it, right? And this, this many people being active right now on the network. And that's an opportunity because it only takes one notification from Telegram to drive spike and to drive users to it. In fact, you probably remember and you're probably aware of this already, but you're not on the Telegram network as it is, right? And if we compare the chains, if we look at Telegram, which is, you know, or, or Ton, the open network, compare it to Solana and Base Chain, you know, you can see on DeFi Llama, the difference. You can see if we zoom in over here, that you see Solana up at 4.6 billion in terms of TVL, that's total amount of money on the network. You see base at 1.37, and you also see ton tiny at 700 million. However, the interesting thing is, it's only going to take about 300 million TVL to really start to push the boundaries and start to surpass base chain. If you look at the top coins, especially in the meme coin sector, which is trending right now and has been trending the whole cycle you see a coin called Brett. So that means that on base chain, there's already a blue chip, Brett, right? You, you can't buy, you know, ton the same way you buy it for, for base chain. So obviously there is no coin for base. So that means people are buying uh, Brett. You could make the argument for that. I would make the argument that it's just a meme coin and it's on base chain. So people want to get exposure to the memes on base. So they also buy Brett. Same thing with Dog With Hat, for example, or maybe Pepe and Shib and Doge for all the other meme coins out there. But there is yet to be a pure meme coin built on top of Ton. 
ton, yeah, it has not a coin, for example, right? If we sort by market caps on Dex tools, for example, you'll see there's plenty of different coins out there, right? There's, uh, let's start by the beginning. You see, obviously, you have ton up at the top. You have not at 1.6 billion, but not isn't a pure meme. You have redo. Redo is very, very strong. Redo is currently set at about 700, uh, 70, 78 million, which again, I would also consider a blue chip. And two steps behind that, you have Tonka, which is the meme that I created on this YouTube channel. And since we spoke about it literally a week and a half ago, we have been trending ever since. We have been trending in terms of volume. We've been trending in terms of community. We have been trending in terms of holders for both Tonka and Ton season. And I'll get into a little bit more about that later. But now at this stage of the video, guys, I want you to ask yourself this question. Where do you see Ton going in the future? Comment down below. Because in my opinion, I do think that the next wave of millionaires and multi-millionaires is going to be on Ton, right? And I'm not saying that Solano isn't going anywhere or that base isn't going anywhere. All of these chains will grow, but there is enough money in the system right now for this to grow. If you look at the last bid scenario, there was $2 trillion pumped into the ecosystem. Now we have wars. We also have uh, political elections coming up as well. There's going to be a lot of money pumped into the market. In fact, a, a billion and a trillion is crazy. In fact, I'll pull it up on the screen, the difference in seconds between a billion and a trillion. And right now there is trillions of dollars in in the, in the world right now, floating around, right? And the opportunity for you to capture that is endless right now. So when we look at all of these tokens, right? Recently, Miao, the founder of Jupiter Exchange, right? This is the biggest exchange on Solana. You've definitely used it before. If you've transacted inside of Solana or inside a Phantom Wallet, when you, when you do your transactions, you've probably used Jupiter, right? He is the founder of it. I also posted a vlog yesterday where I met this person in person at the Jupiter X Ton event in Dubai. In fact, it was an event that we organized and it was great to see everybody coming together. In fact, Luke Belmar has also joined Ton as well. So everything is heating up in the Ton space. Now he mentioned something. He said, look, the space needs to change, right? We need to move from a PVP mindset to a PPP. One of the most important things for, for me to, is to shift in crypto from a PVP mindset to a PPP. The difference being PPP, meaning player points player, communities want the last person to win. However, in a PVP mindset, that's player versus player, communities want the last person to be their exit liquidity, which is a word that you hear thrown around this market everywhere. And I've been a part of it too. I've been a part of PVP communities. I've been a part of uh, you know, YouTube projects and sponsorships where we originally thought that it was going to be people wanting to support our community and then people were dumping on our community too. It's not the way, it's not the wave. It doesn't work, right? Especially in a meme coin. You see the difference is, right? Even with like Jupiter market makers, even with you know most, most crypto projects out there, they raise money. You need somebody to hold the floor. You need people to buy and sell. But on a meme coin, it's very tough because of the liquidity and also because of the cycles of meme coins that they work. They're not normally on most centralized exchanges. Whereas if you look at some of the node sales that we invest into like Myriad Gains, for example, of course you can have raise million dollars, few million dollars, and you can market make and stuff like that because it's on Bybit, you know? However, on a meme coin, with it being so small, when you have these types of intricacies like loads of holders, sniping the launch, the majority of the supply being held by the few, it doesn't necessarily work for memes. In my opinion, a meme needs to be pure. You can't snap the launch. You have to make sure that, you know, if you do have large holders, then just call them, meet them in person, speak to them in, in the community and show them your vision. And if they decide to hold, they decide to hold. But if not, they can sell. It's completely up to them, right? The most important thing for a PPP community, in my eyes, is trust and transparency, right? And that's what we're trying to build. Now, I'll get into that uh, shortly again, but I just wanted to explain that the main thing behind any of the memes that I'm creating right now, Tonka and Ton Season, 
is to follow this vision. And I recommend all of you guys check this out. Follow me out on Twitter. He's an absolute visionary. And on here, he goes more into the into the you know the understanding of looking at communities like Bitcoin communities, Ethereum, and Solana. Not judging it by the tech, but judging it by the community. When you look at Solana communities, they're all in on so. When you look at ETH, they're all in on ETH. Bitcoin, same thing. You have the Bitcoin maxis. You know, you have Michael Saylor fighting hand over fist and pushing this thing. And obviously, a rising tide raises all ships. So when Bitcoin goes up and down, the whole market's going to follow. However, if you look at the community, guys, the community, the alpha groups, the telegram groups, the Twitter communities, the memes, right? When you look at those types of things, you'll see a big difference between the PVP projects and the PPP projects. And Mihal says that he wants Jupiter to be one of those. Now, I really do hope it does become one of those. Now, the main thing is, is this is now going viral, right? This is now going absolutely viral because Kyle Chasse has also mentioned his thoughts on PPP. In fact, he says there needs to be a new wave, right? Protocol pumps player. Because I've seen on YouTube, right, while I've been working, I've been watching a lot of other people's videos and other people have also mentioned, okay, well, you know, this is great, but how do you trust people, right? And Kyle mentions it. He says, look, you know, in the essence of PPP, Miao wants it to be, you know, all about the community and everybody growing together, again, which is great. However, that you need to verify this, right? You need to be able to verify this by the protocol. And this means, one, transparent on-chain protocols, two, revenue guarantees, and three, assurance over trust. And this is interesting. You know, again, this also aligns with what I'm about to show you, with what I am already doing with both of the projects that we are building inside of TON, right? Not only are we catching the trend, not only are we building a new community, but we also are ahead ahead of the curve whenever it comes to meme coins, right? Now, what we are building right now is something called a PPP meme coin. This is the first of its kind on Ton. We set the wave for the communities and we did two things. Number one, we created a coin inside of Gas Pump. I'm going to be going live on Gas Pump tomorrow, actually on Thursday, you can see the date here. And tomorrow I'll be speaking about how we managed to build the two biggest memes to ever launch on Gas Pump. These are a Telegram's version of Pump.Fun and we built the two biggest ever in history on there in only a few days. Number two, I also doxed my wallets, right? So I'm telling you guys, right, this is going to be over $100 million play. Over $100 million play on the Ton chain, the smallest chain out there with only 700 million of TVR. Now, I dox the wallets, you can see it in my Telegram, and also you can see the wallet right here. You can literally go into, you know, Ton Scan over here, Ton Scan, right? Paste it inside of Ton Scan, paste here, and you can see the tokens here. Now, I will say this, guys I don't own T Dog, I don't own Sheeb, Communities Cat. Tonship, whatever. Because we are setting the wave, because we are the, the biggest coin, and obviously I dox the wallets, people are airdropping tokens to my wallets. That's just what they're doing for marketing because they know, obviously, I'm just going to hold it, right? So I can't do nothing about it. The only coins that I hold is Tonka and Ton Season. Ton Season isn't showing up yet for some reason, but you can see it here. 100 million of Tonka, 43 million of Ton Season, okay? And that is... That's it. Okay, so I haven't sniped the launch. I don't personally own the majority of the supply, whatever, right? Now, Tonka is interesting because if we go to, I don't even know if we have many charts on right now because deck screen is down. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We can still look at the uh, Gecko terminal, right, for now. This isn't the fully updated price because it's been uh, it's slow. They're doing an update at the moment. It's down. But, if you see from down here, right, Tonka was basically flat for how long? Like a few days, you said 28th, 29th. Uh, so about three, four days it was down. And what we decided to do was actually do a community takeover. Okay, so I didn't dev this project. I didn't launch it 
on Gas Pump myself. The only coin I launched was Ton Season. However, my community, well, they liked PPP. And I said, look, guys, if you enjoy it, if you understand what we're doing here, then, you know, let's do a CTO, a real CTO, where instead of it being a fake one where we, we, where we leave after a few days, let's do a real, true CTO, CTO. So we went and did it, right? And we took it from 5,000 market cap, where it was down here, to over 30 million at its all-time high. And now it's around about 10 million. When we update, it will be about 10. So you can see we've done over a two, whatever, thousand X or whatever. And guess what? Like a real CTO, we haven't left. In fact, we're continuing to develop and take this to the next level. And it's the same thing with Ton Season. You know, Ton Season is my token. Uh, it's, the one that, it's the one that I built. I launched it inside a gas pump. And I'll explain what gas pump is too on this as well because they, they definitely deserve a shout out. But you can see here, Ton Season, again, dead flat over here. We started pushing it. We started working. We started making developments. And I told everybody, look, inside of my community, there is no more calls. There's no other calls. I'm not being no signals guy, no guru. I'm just going to go and be a dev, you know, a, a pure dev and build something which the community really, really need. There's no need for me to be running a call group, blah, 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 blah. it's too much, it's PVP, right? And for me to be PPP, we have to keep it real, okay? So uh, we did that, and obviously, as you can see, it went absolutely parabolic. Now, again, you see a downturn with ranging between 5 million and, and, and 11 million. It's good volatility for those traders as well. Um, and as you can see, right now, we're always trending. In fact, we're always on this, on this trending bar. We've been there since inception for these things. Now, both of these meme coins have the same utility, right? I didn't want to leave the community takeover and do something where, you know, most people do it on YouTube where they're like, okay, it's up to you, the community, blah, blah, blah. And then it gets wrecked. And I didn't want to obviously go just all in on ton season either. So to be fair, I made it 50-50, right? And I have built the biggest Telegram bot inside of Telegram, and this will be adding utility to the token. Now, this is to get us on something called the Open League. Now, if you know somebody who's working at Telegram right now, let them know that we are coming, inform them that we are applying for the Open League right now. And this gets us multiple things. This gets us one, liquidity, right? It gets us up to 1.6 million in Toncoin and the project token if, for you guys, obviously, obviously trading, but it gives us a boost in liquidity from a, from a developer's point of view, right? It also allows us to do competitions. We then get DeFi grants of up to over $300,000, right? There's been over 150 million uh, already. And obviously airdrops, right? You never know, guys, right? I have a lot of tokens. Maybe a lot of them will be going to airdrops, right? And not only that, but it also allows us to partner with Telegram as well. In fact, if you look at Telegram's Twitter page right now, you'll see, in fact, I think it's ton chain, ton underscore blockchain, right? You'll see a lot of people, well, over 2 million people following ton every single day. You also see... Uh, these other projects, you see Andrew, uh, Ask Andrew over here. Okay, he's also running his own project, going live with Telegram as well, being shared by Telegram for his NFTs, right? And somewhere down here, yes, you also see Luke Belmar as well, who is hosting Spaces every single week on the platform. That means that we will not only be able to get exposure from trending, as we already are, but we'll also get exposure from being able to partner with Telegram for a lot of marketing things. We'll be on their main page. We'll be on Luke Belmar's spaces, right? We'll be um, on their Twitter page as well, being shared by their Twitter too. And we'll be giving people trading bonuses for trading and providing liquidity for our token as well. So this is basically the biggest thing that could possibly happen for a PPP community, okay? Now, when it comes to looking at the memes again. I want to remind you guys this before we close this off. I just want to remind you guys of this. Do not leave. It's very important, right? We have Dogecoin, 15 billion. Shiba, 9 billion. Pepe, 3.8 billion. You know, even Dog with Hat, 1.16 billion. And at the stage of the cycle where we're at, guys, 
we're not even at the pico pico bitcoin's still ranging it's you know it's dumping right now so it's still at a position where the market is indecision we're not euphoric yet fear and greed's at an all-time low yet we right now are in a space where we have already found the next play you know nobody nobody was telling you about solana when solana was wrecked right and they wasn't showing you the next memes. There's only a few people that did it, like Crash, for example, uh, with Base Chain, right? If you look at Ton right now, the opportunity for the next $1 billion meme coin is there. And not just that, right? If you look at some of the biggest bots out there, right? I'm going to show you the bot uh, in a second, right? If you look at Banana Gun, right? One of the biggest bots out there, right? The market cap of Banana Gun is 112 billion, right? If you look at, let's see if we could find the categories here. Telegram bots is a narrative. Only a few months ago, Telegram bots were the biggest narrative out there. You see Notcoin, 1.6, Pale AI, you're talking over 155 million. Uh, the Pale AI have also reached out to me for partnership, by the way. Uh, we have Banana Gun, we have Tokenifying, Chain GPT, Node, Node, Node AI, Hyper GPT, you know, multi-million dollar market cap tokens in this niche too. So when it comes to Ton Season and Ton Cat, we're not just capturing this in terms of, you know, the memes on Ton, but we're also capturing this inside of the Telegram bot narratives too. So you have an amazing opportunity to catch multiple waves as well. Now, this is uh, our main thing, right? So if you can see here inside of my telegram, I put an announcement and this is the bot which we are currently building, right? We still have a lot of things to work on. It's literally been what, three or four days uh, since I last announced it. And I'm going to make this perfect. We're currently working on, you know, aligning the announcements. We already have uh, the Giphy here and obviously we'll be adding the chart at the bottom and all the social media links. And this will pop up inside of your channel the same way that it does. For Tomcat, right? If you look at Tomcat right now, you see the similar notification, right? And inside of this, you have different things that you can pay for, right? You can promote your token here. And when you promote your token, it costs on average, let's see if we could find the prices somewhere. Uh, it's not there, but it's about 100 ton. It's about 100 ton um, on average to, to do that. Remember those numbers. Then we obviously have trending, right? And you see the trending up here. All of this is paid for, right? This is what you pay for as a developer. You know, when you launch a token and somebody says, oh, can the dev do something, etc." This is what you have to do as a dev. Now, the numbers are very, very interesting, right? If we go to online calculator, online calculator, we'll see that most Telegram bots, they pay about 100 ton a day, right? 100 ton. There's 13 spaces between all of these, right? You see 10, well, it's actually 15. But let's do 15, there's 15 spaces, right? So then you times 100 ton by 15, that's per day. That gives you about 1,500 ton per day being generated by these bots. Now, when you do that times 30, right, which is per month, you're talking about 45,000 ton a month, right? And let's say ton is our bare minimum $7. Let's delete that. You're talking about 315 grand a month, right? Over a year. But let's not, we don't even need to do over a year, but let's just show you, for example, a year you're talking about $3.7 million a year. That's meaning... You, you just fill out every single space every day. And obviously, ton doesn't increase in price because it's probably going to forex this cycle anyway because you're getting paid out in ton. Now, what we are going to be doing as a PPP project that is providing utility for the Open League, we are going to be doing either A, staking rewards, or B, we are going to be giving, buying back, sorry, I'm burning the token. So we're either going to do A, Buy back and burn, right? Where we take a percentage of this $3 million a year, which is probably going to be a minimum 10 to 20%. Then we buy the tokens off the markets, Tonkat TSE, right? Burn them. Or 
we do staking awards. You stake your tokens, stake, stake, and then we give you back ton airdropped to the same wallet. You will have to stake for 30, 60, or 90 days. This is not just providing utility, but this is also building a real business inside of Telegram because that's where I think the opportunity is right now. You're talking 900 million users, only 1% of people are actually using the thing, and 1% of the 1% are actually using it daily. Meaning there is millions of dollars to flood into this, not just in the meme coins, but also in the utility. And real utility, guys, not some fugazi utility. Because look, let me be real with you, right? Most of these coins, if you go into coin market cap right now, let me ask you this question, right? How many of these coins have fulfilled their roadmap? How many of these AI coins have fulfilled their roadmap? Only like the top five, right? Literally one, two, three, four, probably the graph as well. The rest of these, never, never, right? Because it takes five years to build anything in this space, right? It takes five years or more to build like something great. And that's like another cycle to the next cycle. What we're doing is we're not reinventing the wheel. We're taking stuff which we already used inside of our Telegram and then we're using it ourselves. And instead of taking the money, which we, I could literally put it in my pocket, thank you, go away, right? We're using it for utility to build this into a real PPP community, right? Because I genuinely feel like this is the right thing to do. This is the right way to build a meme coin project. It's, it's the next wave. And I don't just agree, but Kyle agrees with it too, right? And I reckon a lot of other people in the space agree with it too. You've probably been rugged on a meme coin in the past, right? You've been, you know, done dirty by uh, some honeypot in the past, right? You, everybody in this space has been done dirty in one way or another on any chain by most ways that meme coins operate right now. It's basically just a fancy lottery ticket. However, if we join these two things together, meme coins with utility, I think that we can be the next bunk bot. Because it's, again, it's already been done. This isn't some visionary, imaginary stuff. Bunk bot have already done it, right? You have bonk, right? And you have bonk bot, right? And where are we at now in terms of market cap? Right, we're talking 1.7 billion. And was BonkBot the main reason why this popped off? No. But again, it's just extra utility on top of the thing. Same thing with Banana Bot. And Banana Bots are 100 million. In fact, look, if you look at Banana Bot, go to their website, they do a very similar thing. Look, trade crypto, the banana way, welcome to Banana Gun, your trading bot on Telegram and the web app. Snipe launches or safely trade tokens. You know, we aspire to be your go-to platform, trading platform on uh, Ethereum network and soon other chains, right? These guys have already done it, right? Roadmap, testimonials, etc. You can get started with the bot today, right? TG bot, boom, bish bash boss. You go to the website, you're in, right? This is stuff which is already around, but it's not on ton yet, right? It's not... The opportunity right now is endless. There's a few different bots out there and we're already looking at partnerships with them too. We want to work with as many people as possible in this chain because we want to grow it together. So again, guys, now you have a choice. Go back through my YouTube. Look at this video here. It's going to show you the first video I made when I said we were starting on this journey. Now I'm showing you guys. We have utility. We are building on top of this chain. And we are either buying back and burning or giving staking rewards for both Tonka and TSC. This tech won't take long. We've already got the MVP ready. You've seen the screenshot. That's going to give us access to the open league. And it's also going to give us the opportunity to get onto spaces and to partner with Ton. We are bringing the next wave of meme coin users over to the Ton chain. And we will do our best to turn that 1%, 9 million users or whatever into 10 into 20 maybe even more and bring the next few hundred thousand users onto the ton chain if you want to join in if you want to learn more about tonka and tsc check out the next video and i'll see you in the next one guys take care